Hi viewers, uh, today I will explain you about the working of absorption chiller. Uh, what is absorption chiller? Absorption chiller is a chiller in which uh, lithium bromide solution is used as a uh, refrigerant. Basically, uh, lithium bromide uh, solution is not the uh, refrigerant, uh, actual refrigerant is water. Now, how it works? Uh, we can say that it can be divided into four uh, steps number one you see this chamber this is high pressure chamber and this is lower pressure chamber the high higher pressure chamber is one upon tenth of uh, atmospheric pressure and the lower pressure chamber is one upon hundredth of atmospheric pressure now to explain the absorption chiller i will start from the first step that is called generator in generator what happens the uh, uh, lithium bromide solution dilute solution this is uh, lithium bromide plus water dilute solution of uh, lithium bromide uh, moves here and it is dropped uh, on the hot water coil this this compartment is called generator why this is generator this is uh, this is called generator because it is uh, creating the uh, you can say water vapors and how water vapors are created these are created due to this hot water hot water enters at 90 degree centigrade and uh, loses its heat and uh, returns back at 80 degree centigrade this hot water uh, can be obtained through a gas burner or uh, you can also see uh, at the exhaust uh, chimney of uh, generators large industrial generators so uh, when the diluted solution comes here and it loses its water as a vapor water vapors move this way and the remaining lithium bromide concentrated solution goes downward and you can see that concentrated solution is uh, marked in uh, orange color this water vapor comes here and this compartment is called condenser now in condenser this is a uh, you can say it is uh, uh, cooling water that that is coming from you can say that uh, a cooling tower may be installed here and this cycle completely is of a cooling tower now in condenser this water vapors are condensed and move towards down downward position now uh, the third compartment is evaporator in evaporator what happens at a very very low pressure the water is dropped here and uh, it it loses uh, i mean it it uh, it gets heat from this coil this coil is coming from uh, the you can say the uh, the production floor it may be a building that needs cooling or it may be a production floor or production offices or any hall that requires cooling the coil is coming at a higher temperature and leaving at lower temperature and it reduces its heat it loses its heat and uh, the water vapor uh, goes towards uh, absorber i mean the liquid water comes in liquid form and by gaining that heat at very lower pressure it becomes vapor and uh, the vapor moves towards this direction and here what comes what what's going on here here uh, you can see the cooling water from cooling tower is coming at 29 degree centigrade and uh, the uh, water vapors are going this way as a gaseous form and the you see from generator if you see this lithium bromide solution coming here it is uh, losing its heat and uh, going up here now this concentrated solution of lithium bromide is dropped and what happens these are uh, mixed together that's why it, this compartment is called absorber lithium bromide absorbs in it the water contents and then again we we obtain lithium bromide diluted solution and this way this lithium bromide solution with uh, with the help of pump moves here and again goes to generator 
and this way the complete cycle works and uh, we obtain the uh, cooling effect and this coil is uh, used for uh, uh, production floor or any area that requires cooling so there are four steps generator condenser evaporator and absorber for more videos like this please subscribe our channel american academy thank you very much for viewing this video please don't forget to subscribe us